Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you just so happen to be joining me for the very first time in 2018, welcome to my channel. Happy New Year to each and every one of you, all of my returning subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here. For my first video for 2018, I actually wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about something that I've been working on. It's more so of a project that I started in the last couple of months um, in 2017. Now we all have things that we are insecure about and you know, whether it be your body size whether it be the shape of your nose the shape of your teeth the shape the size of your breasts everybody has something that they're insecure about and one of the things that I was seriously insecure about was the condition of my skin so I made a vow to myself that for the last couple of months in 2017 that I was gonna work hard 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 on improving the condition of my skin so one of the things that I actually did was um, I made the commitments that I was going to change um, a lot of the things that I eat and a, lot, and a lot of the things that I actually do on a daily basis. So um, I changed a little bit of my diet and I realized um, over a couple of weeks that my skin just started to look like really, really great. Um, as a matter of fact, my, um, my breakouts minimized, like I hardly had any. Now, I'm not saying that I didn't because, you know, it was still in the in the process. So I had a few here and there. But then I realized like after a month, like I didn't see anything at all. Like I didn't see any sort of breakout at all. And then, you know, when I actually gradually built myself up into the whole process of, you know, changing up the things that I ate, exercising, um, I, I was basically working on myself internally and externally. So if you guys want to know what exactly I did to improve the condition of my skin, then please stay tuned. Before I actually go ahead in and talk about the different stuff that I've been using in terms of diet, I just want to say that you don't necessarily have to use every single thing that I mention here in this video. This is what works for me and I continue to say this every single video whenever I, I talk about stuff that I've been trying or projects that I've been working on in terms of my skin, then I always say you don't necessarily have to do it. You just have to find something that actually works for you. So let's just jump straight into um, diet Diet. Now, um, one of the things that I've actually changed, now we, we know and we all love the regular vegetable cooking oil that we, you know, we fry our foods with or cook with or whatever. I've actually switched and I've somewhat gone organic. I'm not fully organic yet. I don't know if, if I will. And I would not just randomly throw around that word that I'm, I'm into organic food because I'm not. But um, one of the things that I've actually changed, instead of using the regular vegetable cooking oil, I've switched to the organic coconut oil, which is actually much healthier when it comes to cooking. Secondly, I have switched from the regular iodized salt to the pink Himalayan salt. Now, I was actually introduced to this by a friend of mine who was diagnosed with hypertension. Not that I have hypertension, but... Um, I'm not a big fan of salt. Like, I'm a sweet girl. Like, I love, y'all already know this. I like chocolate, Ch melted chocolate, soft chocolate, hot chocolate, chocolate, ice cream, chocolate, M&M, chocolate, chocolate. So, um, when she actually told me about it and I actually did my research and I realized that, you know, let me just try it and whatever, you know, she gave me um, some a sample of it and I tried it the, the following day. And for me, personally, I like the way how it had my food tasting, so, automatically I I switched immediately like I was like to hell with iodized salt as a matter of fact if you do your research the iodized salt is not really something that is healthy and I think that's one of the reasons why you know um, a lot of us eventually start suffering from hypertension the iodized salt is completely completely unhealthy so I've switched from using regular iodized salt to using the pink Himalayan salt now the pink Himalayan salt I need to get this word right Himalayan Himalayan salt is um, it's actually like big chunks of salt. So whenever you buy it, you'd actually have to buy a salt grinder because it's not like finely milled like the iodized salt. So that's another thing that I've changed. I'm basically on a low sodium diet because another thing that I've changed is that, um, first of all, um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of red meat generally. Like the only thing that I would say I eat regularly in terms of meat is probably chicken and fish or seafood on a whole. In terms of chicken, what I've done is that I don't necessarily eat the, um, the different parts of the chicken anymore in terms of, you know, the wings, the thighs and all that. I've just stuck to one particular portion of the chicken, which is the chicken breast. That one is much healthier and it carries way less salt. And generally, I love seafood. Um, 
uh, I know they're actually high in cholesterol, but of course I watch my intake, you know, generally I would just eat maybe a small piece of, like I'm a big fan of pot fish. Uh, I don't really like sli sliced fish that much unless it's like mahi mahi or something like that. But overall, I've just been watching um, my intake in terms of uh, sodium, cholesterol, and um, meat on a whole. Talk about in terms of my diet is um, I've basically switched the type of vegetables that I would normally um, take in on a daily basis. Like usually I would probably just do carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, cucumbers, and that's basically it. I do not like tomatoes, by the way. <laughs> but um, after after doing some research, by the way, and Deanna has played a big role in this. Like every single day I want Deanna snaps. Shout out to you, Deanna. And she would always talk about how, how important... Um, uh, things like kale, spinach, and lettuce is to improve the condition of your skin and just to improve your health overall. So I was like, hmm, I didn't know that because I really don't pay attention to those type of things. So I did my research and now every single day I'm eating kale, spinach, lettuce, like every single green leafy vegetable that's out there, it's in there. It's in my food. It's on my plate. I'm eating it. And I've also started to add to my salads um, hemp seeds. Hemp seeds and chai seeds. I'm actually out of chai seeds right now. But I add these to my salads. I add these to my fruit smoothies. I'm just completely obsessed with hemp seeds and chai seeds, kale, spinach, and um, lettuce. And they've done such a great job at improving my overall health and the condition of my skin. And the fourth thing that I want to talk about in terms of diet, no, internally, is that I've stopped using the regular sugars that you know we would, we all know and love and we continue to buy in the supermarkets. And I've switched to buying the um, the pure honey. Now we all know there are different uh, flavors of honey, you know, the clover honey and all those different stuff. But I I like the regular pure golden honey. I'm a big fan of this, so I, I've started using these in my in my drinks, um, uh, my teas, herbal teas, bush tea, whatever y'all want to call it. People that call it herbal tea, we don't hear to call it bush tea. So that's the fourth thing that I've actually changed in terms of diet. Now the fifth thing I want to talk about is something that, you know, everybody should know, which is... Dum -da -da -dum water now i know every single person should know that in order for you to have good healthy skin good health overall generally that you have to drink a lot a lot a lot a lot of water and i'm going to tell you guys exactly one of the tricks that i do because you know generally you know when you when you visit your doctor or doctors on our home would always say oh you need to drink eight glasses of water every day so what i would do because you know i have a regular job what I would do, you know, from eight to four is that I would, I would drink one glass of water every hour. That's the only way I'm going to get the eight glasses of water in every day. And sometimes I get super, super busy that I don't even think that I actually remember to drink it every hour. But if I don't, if I miss one hour, then the following hour, I'm going to drink the two of them. And that I actually do whenever I get home at night and I have to make dinner for my for my daughter and for myself, I would always have a, a, um, a bottle of water this size by my side, just drinking away. And it's really because I want to flush out whatever toxins, you know, I eat throughout the course of the day because I have a serious, serious weakness for, for chocolate. I mean, <laughs> this one just sitting here next to me, calling my name like every single day. I, so in order for me to actually, you know, flush out whatever toxins I may have eaten throughout the course of the day because you never know maybe that might not be the only one maybe I might cheat a little bit and have a little bit of cake or some skittles or something so um during the course of the day I always make sure I have my eight glasses of water then in the evening when I'm cooking I always make sure I have a bottle like this and then um something like this before I go to bed now I'm not saying I drink all of this I probably might go maybe like a like a a quarter or maybe a halfway but I drink a lot a lot a lot of water and I realize that drinking all of that water and changing my diet up has seriously done some wonders to my skin I'm just 
speechless. The final thing that I want to talk about that I've been doing internally is something that we all know and we all used to despise growing up because our mother used to give us the raw thing in a spoon that used to taste terrible. Now thankfully somebody came up with the capsules and we can all just take one of these daily with a little bit of water and we're good to go. But yeah, I went back old school. I was like, you know what? Growing up, I remember when they used to see how good Seven Seas cod liver oil was for your skin, your hair, and your nails. And I basically just started taking them again. And with that water and the um, the couple of things that I mentioned in terms of diet, I've really, really seen a hell of a change in terms of my skin's condition. So that's basically what I've been doing internally. And I'm just going to tell you, run through the stuff that I've been doing um, externally. Okay, so now externally now everybody knows how much i love my neutrogena products and how much i continue to talk about them because i've known them since i was a teenager they continue to do really great things for me because i'm an acne prone baby and i've known neutrogena and they've been doing some great things for me the only thing that i've switched instead of using the regular foaming pump um daily acne wash i've i've sort of gone back to the 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 first generation of um, Neutrogena products, which is the, the bath soap. Now, this one is the, the one that's in the orange and white box. Yeah, the one that says for acne prone skin. And it's not that the, the pump doesn't do the same thing as the soap, but I find that whenever I use the, the, the bar of soap, that it works faster in terms of eliminating, you know, the, 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 the excess oils and residue and breakout that I may have um, may have on my face. I, fe I feel like the, 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 the bath soap works faster than the, the, foam, the foaming cleanser. Now I know everybody said that the foaming cleanser is supposed to be something that works faster, but for me, personally, I feel like the soap actually works faster because sometimes when I have a little breakout around here and um, I would actually, whenever I take my makeup off and I'm cleansing, I could actually feel the sensation of the soap just eliminating everything. Like, I, I can actually feel a bit of a burning sensation to let me know that it's working and getting rid of those little breakout that I have going on around wherever. So that's one of the reasons why I kind of switched from the foaming cleanser to the regular um, uh, bar of soap. Now I think by now everybody should know um, my skincare routine because I think I ran through it um, some videos ago. I can't remember which one particular, but I'm still actually a big fan of the simple micellar cleansing water. I continue to use this to remove my makeup. And, um, you know when I get home from work or wherever I wherever I tend to end up with makeup on my face, I still continue to use the micellar cleansing water to remove my makeup. This is my favorite favorite makeup remover. And right after that, what I would do whenever I'm, you know, home in the evening and I'm cooking in order to get rid of the excess, whatever may have left over, I kind of run over my face with the rose water. Now this rose water, it doesn't have any brand name because this is just a rose water that I picked up in FamCare. Um, I was searching for one and um, I realized that they actually have them bottled out in this size and they actually have the the bigger size i think at the time when i went there they only had the, sm the small bottle so i got this and whenever i get home at evenings and i take off my makeup with my micellar cleansing water i would go in right after with the rose water and just try to remove the excess oil you know and it's that's just to kind of get my skin ready and loose you know get the excess stuff out of my pores just to get it ready for whenever I'm ready to, you know, cleanse and moisturize and tone and add my facial oil to sleep at night. So that's basically what I've been doing. And I've somewhat minimized a lot of the different things that I've been doing to my skin because I realize sometimes over time when you do too much to your skin, especially somebody like me, I have sensitive and acne prone skin, that sometimes I can just give myself breakout because I'm just doing way too much to my skin. And because of this, um, it's been approximately one month since I've actually had to apply a clay mask. Now, usually I would apply a clay mask maybe every two to three weeks, but because my skin has been looking so good and I've had no breakouts, I kind of rest down the clay mask. Now, I'm not saying that I won't. I probably will, maybe right after this video. But because my skin has been really, really, you know, it's, it's, it's been on its A game, I, I just feel like, okay, I'm going to skip this step for a minute 
and then I'll probably pick it up maybe after a month or two. So um, I think I'm gonna actually apply a clay mask after I finish this video. So um, that's basically what I've been doing in terms of keeping my skin looking good and healthy and glowy. That is all water and diet and doing the less is more trick in terms of skincare. So that's really what I've been doing um, for the past couple of months to improve the condition of my skin. And I've been doing so many different things. Like I've been trying so many different things, not realizing that in order for my skin to shine outwards, that I had to work on it internally. It's kind of like being a good person, you know? You have to work on you, on the inside for it to shine on the outside. So that's that's really it. It's I've, I've changed my diet. And I, I just drink lots of water all day, every day. And of course, you know, everybody has something that they're insecure about. Mine was actually the condition of my skin. Um, I know some, some persons might be insecure about the size of their body, the, the size of their nose, the shape of their teeth, the size of their boobs, whatever it is that you're insecure about. Now, I'm not saying that everybody should jump and do something stupid because I know, you know, Forums like Instagram, you know, they have a very unhealthy, unrealistic narrative of how women should actually look like. And I feel like a lot of people jump on board at every single thing that they see on Instagram, you know, whether it be the slim tees or the waist trainers or whatever. I just feel like if it's something that's that's not realistic then you should probably not jump on board with it especially things that have in um all these different things that you have to do to your bodies and stuff like that i'm not a i'm, I'm not totally against you trying to fix whatever it is that you're insecure about but you have to be smart about it. if it's something that's not realistic then you just have to let it go if it's something that you know that's going to affect you in the long run then i just say let it go that's just me all right, guys, so yeah, th that's really my big secret that I've been keeping from you guys um, for the past couple of months. I've been, I've changed up my diet and um, yeah, I've been working on myself internally and externally just to improve the condition of my skin. Now, if you guys have any requests, as I said before, please leave me a comment down in the comment section. And you know, if you happen to want to try anything, anything that I mentioned here in this video and you're not really sure, you're not really certain, you can always send me a message. I always, like I said before, I love reading messages and comments. Um, just send me a message, send me a comment, and I'll be happy to um, assist you or guide you, whatever it is. Um, I know everybody, like I said before, I know everybody's looking to have really great skin, especially if you're a makeup artist or if you're a makeup enthusiast, you want your makeup up to look amazing so just remember that you have to work on yourself internally in order for it to show externally if you haven't ever appreciated this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up on your way out and if you're not already subscribed to my channel then please be sure to click that lovely red subscribe button thank you guys so much for being here it's 2018 i promise you guys lots and lots and lots is in store for this channel um, i'll talk to you guys real soon on my next upload Bye-bye.